Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and in this Vue.js 3 video tutorial, we will learn that how we can pass data from parent component to child component. These are the points for this video. First of all, we will make our child component, then we will import it and use it in our parent component. And after that, we will pass some static data. And after checking that data is working fine, we will pass properties, objects, function in this component. And we will also cover our interview question. And our interview question will be like, uh, can we pass data from can we pass function from parent to child component the answer is yes we can pass and we can use also and how we can pass and use it and call it on a button click i will show you on this example right before starting with this video i want to share a information with you if you are looking to purchase domain name or hosting then you can purchase it with the domain racer plans are just started with a 59 rupees per month and they will provide you domain name also on a very reasonable price here you can see that dot com dot in every kind of domain name are just uh 59 rupees 399 rupees and 7 rupees right so they are really reasonable price and you can get 60 percent hosting uh, off on the ssd hosting and uh, they will provide you a reseller hosting also there is a lots of uh, features and plans you can just uh, go to the domain racer official website and check out these features right so Let's start with our video now. This is our output screen and here we will write our code. So first of all, I'm just going to collapse all data and then let's open the components. And here, let's make a new component with the name of child.view, right? And after that, let's define our template and close this template also like this. And uh, let's use a script tag. We can close this script tag also like this right and uh, now let's write here some h2 tag and what we can do here we can simply put here let's say like some text like child component or something now in a script tag simply put here export default and we can put here our component name here and my component name let's see child right so this is our basic and simplest component example. Great. Now we can import it in our home. So let's import it. Import child from child dot view. Right. Uh, sorry, it's not slash. It's, it's just a dot view. Great. And now we can uh, define a property here. Let's say components. And uh, here we can register our component, uh, let's say child, right? Every component should be registered here after importing. And now we can use it like here. And if everything is fine, it should be displayed here. So here you can check that uh, child component. This is imported and displayed here. Perfect. So now, now let's try to pass here a simple data like name. And I'm putting here Bruce. Right. And now how we can uh, just uh, print this data here for that first of all we have to use here props property and we can register here uh, what data we want to pass like name and now we can use it in a double curly braces and put here name and here you can see that Bruce is displayed here that means this is working fine so we just now we passed your static data so now let's define some properties. So let me put here a data function return statement and uh, let me pass here some data like uh, user and here I'm putting here user information like name. Again, I will put here uh, Bruce. And now let's define a second key for it like email can be Bruce at the rate test.com right and uh, yeah with that what what more thing one more thing we can do here we can just simply put here name and we can put here like uh, Bruce right but how can I pass this name here for that we can pass it like simply name property right but now you will find that there is something missing actually right uh, first thing is I need to put here a comma that is my bad 
again now you can see that we are just receiving here name right because by mistakenly we passed here the uh, name as a string so how we can use this proofs right how we can get this property for that you just need to put here a colon and now you will find that you are getting here proofs right so with the same way if you want to pass here the user's object then you have to just put here let's say data you can put any name to your property and attach with your uh, props right so data i'm pu putting my data uh, props name data colon data equal to my property name which is user and we can use it inside uh, quotes right now how i can just use it here so first of all we again we need to use register here and after that let's put here user dot email and uh, again user is not defined because we are just passing here data my bad so i must have to put here data and here also right let me just refresh it okay data is not defined mm, just give me a moment now actually i made a mistake here even with the name we can also define data type like uh, string this is a string data right and here we can put here object because we are using a object as data right now this is working fine so we just get to know that how we can pass string how we can pass normal property and object but how we can use the function here so for that you can define a one more property here methods and uh, define your function name let's say get data and i am just alerting a statement here let's say function called all right and uh, after that let's pass it as a same way again i am putting here get data my property name or you can use any other name also and simply put here get data like this and uh, we can also use here quotes also now whenever in a child component we are receiving it let's define the props type with the name of get data function and uh, after that let's make a button so that we can call it on a button click close it right here like a uh, click me or call me whatever you want now put here event v view colon on hyphen on colon click and we can put here get data like a function so i think again element tag is missing let me the c what i again missed here i think uh, we just need to refresh it no yeah actually i just need to close it now it should work fine whenever i am clicking on it now you can see that function called from parent class or parent component right so if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box we learned in this video how we can pass normal properties how we can make component how we can pass objects and functions so thanks for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video